Rooster Teeth News is brought to you by Sherry's Berries. Go to berries.com for an awesome Valentine's Day gift. Get freshly dipped strawberries for just $19.99 when you click on the microphone and enter code RTNEWS. What's up, guys? I'm Ashley Jenkins, and while most of us were sleeping, the largest battle in the 10-year history of Space MMO EVE Online has been taking place. The best part? It began when one player coalition missed a bill payment on a station controlling the intergalactic system they used to stage and store their fleets. The CFC and a Russian coalition, two other player groups, descended on the system, captured the station, and an all-out battle ensued. This battle has raged over the last day, with damages exceeding anything the game has seen before. Numbers have not yet been finalized, but reportedly more than 70 Titan-class ships have been destroyed in the fighting. To put that in perspective, Titans are the largest and most powerful class of ship in the game, and also the most expensive. The most valuable ship lost in the battle's main system, an Erebus Titan-class vessel, was worth 222 billion interstellar credits, or ISK, the in-game currency not to be confused with the Icelandic Krona. If you wanted to convert your real money into ISK to buy a ship at that value, you'd be looking at 5,500 US dollars. The in-game time required to mine resources and manufacture such a monstrosity would run you around 6,200 hours or 260 full days of game time. And 70 of these things were destroyed. Estimates report that just in the main system, 2,200 players have participated, with additional fighting spilling over to several other systems, with thousands of additional casualties, and total damage in the tens of trillions of ISK, or somewhere between $250,000 and $300,000. On a slightly less epic scale, Respawn co-founder Vince Zampella has confirmed a rumor that popped up yesterday that Titanfall will get an open beta. A French retailer put up posters advertising the beta for February 14th, and while Zampella hasn't confirmed the date, he has offered a few details. The beta will include Xbox One and PC versions, and Zampella has promised more details soon. The Xbox 360 version doesn't appear to be included in the beta, most likely because it turns out it's not actually being created in-house by Respawn. It's being made by an Austin-based studio called Bluepoint Games, who previously developed PS4 and Vita versions of Flower, the Metal Gear Solid HD collection, the Ico and Shadow of the Colossus collection, and the God of War collection. Basically, they have a lot of experience porting games to different platforms. However, the 360 version will still launch on March 11th alongside the other platforms. Moving on, Nintendo will hold a strategy briefing on Thursday to discuss their plans to build a successful future for the company, but details are beginning to leak a bit early. The Nikkei, a business publication related to the Japanese Nikkei Trading Index, has revealed Nintendo's strategy for smartphones. Following the company's recent announcement that they expect to operate at a loss for the third consecutive year, Nintendo has been under increasing pressure from investors to take advantage of the booming smartphone market, with the most obvious possibility being to release their games for mobile devices. However, keeping with President Satoru Iwata's stance that Nintendo's hardware depends on the exclusivity of its software and that the role of smartphones should be to interest consumers in Nintendo products, the company will implement a different approach. They plan to release mini-games and demos to entertain smartphone owners and introduce them to Nintendo's software offerings, with the idea of pointing them to Nintendo's platforms for full games to drive Nintendo hardware sales. Expect more details after Nintendo's upcoming briefing. Finally, Rainmaker Entertainment and Blockade Entertainment have announced a movie adaptation of Sly Cooper. As you might expect, the movie will center around a comedic heist with the raccoon joined by other characters from the games, including Bentley Turtle and Murray Hippo. Some of the voice talent from the games will reprise their character roles in the movie as well, as Sly and his friends race to uncover the secrets of his family's legacy as he learns he comes from a long line of talented international thieves. The filmmakers are working closely with Sucker Punch and Sony to make sure the movie stays true to the game franchise. Since we were altering the look of the characters and world into pure CG, it was important to keep them in the process, says Blockade's Brad Foxhaven. The movie will hit theaters sometime in early 2016. And that should about do it for today. Will you use the Titanfall beta to decide whether or not to pick up the full game? Let us know in the comments below. Then check RoosterTeeth.com for the newest episode of our RT podcast a week before it hits YouTube.